Hi, this is Kathy Connor Murillo, The Crafty Chica, and here is a sneak peek of a project from my new book, The Crafty Chica Creates. We are making a corazón, a heart, using air dry clay. Now, in the back of the book, there is a template that you can use. This is just regular air dry clay that you can get at the craft store. You're going to roll it into a ball and flatten it by using a rolling pin. You want to get it to about half an inch thick. From here, you're going to take the template that is in the back of the book. You can make a photocopy of it, take a picture of it, print it out, whatever you want to do. Place it on top of the clay that you just rolled out, and then use a craft knife to cut out the shape. This is where the fun part comes in because now we're going to decorate the front of it. So the first thing that I usually do is smooth out the edges with my fingers and I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to use the excess clay that I cut off to cut out the flower petals, the leaves, and the vines. And again, there's nothing extraordinary here. What we're doing is just using our imagination, our creativity, and a craft knife and I'm going to create a little hash mark where I want to put this flower and I'm going to put some more hash marks on the back of the middle of the flower and I'm just going to press that in place. Now I did add a little bit of water in there just to help them join and now what I'm going to do is cut out the petals. So here's a piece of the excess clay. I'm going to roll it just a little bit smoother and you could use mini cookie cutters cake cutting tools as long as you only use them for clay afterwards but I'm just gonna freehand this with my craft knife and I'm taking each little petal and I'm shaping it within my fingers and I'm going to score the back of it and score around where I'm going to put these and again I'm going to add a little bit of, of water there and just start pressing these petals into place all around that middle section once you have all of your pieces in place, this is part is optional. You can use the end of your paintbrush to create little dots all around the outside of the heart. And now I'll show you how to make a couple different flowers. I took a little strip of clay and I'm flattening it down and then I'm taking one end and I'm rolling it inside. And I'm just going to keep turning it within my thumb and my index finger until I get a nice little bloom. Cut off the end to create a smooth backing, score the end, and you're going to score where you're going to place this flower and add a little bit of water so that it will connect nice. And it's air dry clay, so you really want to make sure these are connected well. And now that I have that one, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more. Here is my finished piece. You can see I added two holes at the top so that I could use wire to hang it because this will be a heavy piece. And I'm going to let this air dry for 24 hours and then I can paint it. If you choose to paint it, go ahead and add a base coat of white first, let it dry, and then add your color. Once the white paint is dry, use a liner fine tip brush and add some other details like lettering or highlights, whatever you'd like. 